what's up so we're at muscle beach right now in miami florida just out here getting a nice little pump just gonna see you know i think one of the biggest things is adapting right so we're trying to figure it out right now we're doing a superset we're technically a tricep we're doing some uh bench press into some shrugs a little bit of a pulling movement and then to target the triceps after we're just gonna do some tricep uh dips on a nice machine so let's have a good time give you guys some tips and uh yeah let's enjoy different than a public gym open push pull so we're mirroring the workout we were going to do just making the equipment we have work obviously it's hard gauging what weight to use so if we have the wrong weight we just put it down readjust get the right weight but this is pretty heavy these look light but it's no joke let's get it let's go buddy we make it work When it comes down to it, one of the biggest things, especially for a lot of back movements, including lat pull down rows, is I always just pretend that there is something in between my scapula, where you can see on the screen there, um, get a nice squeeze. You know, you'll get so many more benefits from actually controlling versus just rushing through the movement like a lot of other people. So yeah, when gym closed down for me, you know, I was doing a lot of pull-ups, a lot of dips, things you can do at the playground. And these are two great movements for a reason, especially if you're into calisthenics. And even if you're not, these are movements you should master because they really work a lot of muscles at once. They just feel fantastic. One thing for a lot of people who struggle with pull-ups is just doing either assisted or negative. So as you can see on the screen here, I'm performing the negatives with a three to five seconds on the way down. If you do have access to a bench, you can put that underneath you. But this mixed with the assisted, um, you can use either a machine or bands are a great way to build the movement and allow you to get stronger within the movement and eventually be able to do them on your own. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite things. Actually, a few years ago when we were in Miami, we came here to get donuts and we had to come back, so we each got two. Alrighty, so we got so many Instagram messages. Everyone who's had been to Miami said we need to go to the salty donut, so here we are. But it's really fun, like I don't really do donuts too much, but being able to work it into your diet and still stay on track is really fun, especially when it's like really unique. It's one of the best things, you know? So we're just gonna enjoy this, uh, enjoy the montage. <laughs> This is the hazelnut one. So yeah, 80-20 principle is cool. We had Greek yogurt for breakfast and then this is just a nice little afternoon snack. Man, good donuts are the best. Definitely my favorite guilty pleasure, but time to enjoy it. Oh, I caught it. Oh my God. Day two in Miami, just picked up some fresh kicks and uh, we're just staying super active. One of my favorite things, especially when traveling, I know same with Josh, is just uh, walking a ton. It's literally already 12 o'clock and we've got over 10,000 steps. So we parked further and we're just exploring this really cool art gallery as well. You know, it's always nice to get outside the house even for our mental health as well. But yeah, just one thing, you know, just once again, planning ahead for our food. We know we're gonna be having donuts later, which you guys will see. And uh, just being, being super active is something that goes such a long way, especially when it's beautiful out. So that's one thing we're really trying to take advantage of here. Now check out this cool art at this art district we came across. So 
I'm just doing my client check-ins right now. Every Friday or Saturday, we send video messages back and forth um, to our clients and just update spreadsheets and stuff. And all of our clients are seeing great success. But you know, one thing, especially with newer clients and even people on Instagram, I find that really holds a lot of people back. So we've had over 2,000 transformations, which we're super proud about. But the biggest thing is the mindset, right? A lot of people do well with their workouts, their nutrition, you know, just like they're doing some cardio and they're listening, but their mindset holds them back. They have so many self-limiting beliefs where it's like either I don't believe I have what it takes because I failed so many times in the past or you know I logged everything and did a really solid week but it wasn't perfect and they start to kind of self-sabotage themselves and or they have one really good week or you know one off week and they just are like okay I want to just you know fully throw everything under the bus and just be like say and just say screw it so you know my biggest words of like advice for you if you're on your fitness journey is stop being so hard on yourself you're always gonna have those weeks where you just feel like you need to hit the reset button and that's totally okay but you don't have to fully give up and that's just not the best way to approach it right so be easy on yourself, trust the process, allow for different hiccups to take place, and above all, having a coach to guide you and actually say this, because a lot of times I say the same things. I'm like, hey, you still got three workouts in, you still tracked your nutrition. You could have said, screw this and done nothing, but you still did some amazing work um, as I'm doing my client check-ins here. So, you know, if you are looking to get some incredible results, send us a message on Instagram with the keyword, um, you know, just uh, summer abs will take care of you. Make sure you get in the right shape. Even if you don't, aren't looking for a six pack, but you just want to get a flatter stomach, we will take care of you through training nutrition and uh, I hope this helps someone today make sure to smash that like button subscribe comment down below and uh, you know just uh, we'll see you guys in the next video peace and love always